From this video, we will know what's new in the new version of Tesla Scada 2, 20H. The main feature we add in the new version is the possibility to communicate with other IRP. Let's see. Preliminary, we create some project on other IRP. How to create it, you can see in the video by the link below this video. And we create some project. Preliminary, we create some objects and scripts and text. Now let's create other, other, our communication with the Adobe IP. Open databases tab, click right button, choose new database and click Adobe IP. Let's name it and let's enter Earl port and database name of this Adobe IP. You can find it here. Enter username and password. We created it before preliminary. Let's choose a refresh type tag and let's choose tag name refresh. Now let's enter model's name. First name model we use in our project will be MRP work order. Let's copy paste this name and second product model. Let's bind some of the object to this other IP. Objects that you can use, you can find in the other IP collections. Now we use one object, other IP table. Open. We rename this object because we use it in the script and we don't have white spaces in this name. Let's bind, bind to Adu to Adu and let's bind to model. Now let's enter fields that we use in this table. First field name, recorder, Let, let's left it. Second field is product, field product ID. Let's enter it. And quantity, next field quantity, quantity productions. And the last field we use in our projects, field state. Let's check. Okay, it works. But we have product not name like in our other IP. We have ID of this product. Let's add other table with products names. Choose a do this product product and let's field. First field will be will be ID for our purposes. And let's change ID. Mm. 
this and second name and third we use sales price field list price as you can see and just price Increase column width for manga name to be 160. Okay. For ID 4, we have name manga juice. You can use this name in our ad work order table. And to do this in product, you use use relations, and this ID will in this name of product will be taken by using product ID. Let's see. You can see product product juice. You can add filters in your pro in your other table, other IP table. We use several tables. For example, we want to know ready work orders, and we want to know work orders in prog that in progress now. Ready, used field state, and. State should be ready, equal ready. And we choose color. Use custom color green. And add this filter. Also, we use filter in progress. And quill, it will be when a quill progress. Color will be blue. Let's choose filter already. We don't have your colors with that ready to use and we don't have in progress now we use refresh tech that will be refreshed every 10 seconds by using this script multi better this tech every 10 seconds will run script check this script when value is true of this script of this tag refresh we'll call the script check let's see the script script check will use a do get model count function you can read the possibility of this function in user manual this function used to get number of rows that you get from Adobe RP with name and that fits filter conditions in our case, filter condition states equal ready from MRP work order. Then we read the work order name by using these functions. We do read model field from the other MRP, MRP work order model, and when in condition state equal ready from the field name and from the row zero of this function and if this 
think it will cutting text cutting be become true if clean text clean become true and if production text production become true now let's start we don't have work orders in ready in progress and now let's create some work orders to do this in our Adore P project we create new manufacture order and create work orders and we've got change count and we've got cutting recorder is ready you can see it in, in a while yes manga cutting name is ready now we want to start it if you want to start it from the um, our project you have to bind functions method button start to our table let's do it function name start and button start and bind the stack to start text that will start start script use filter this filter lets you use this function only when it fits to the filter ready let's get and now you can use function start to start this recorder now it becomes status in progress let's update our recorder yes it's in progress you can click button you can choose change status of this recorder to done by using method record productions let's do it name record production and bind to tag finish that will start script finish filter in progress Add. Okay. and let's see now you can click done it will mark this recorder as done and according our ARP project will other recorder is ready recorder by name but by but and the name cleaning let's see in our scripts that we use for start in start we use other work table object our table and select raw field we select raw field name and assign to work order name string selects fields value in our case it, it will be changed from cutting cleaning and production and when it equals it will light the let's cutting clean and productions and in script finished we just turn off this let's Okay, now we can start other recorder cleaning 
it in progress now and let's mark it done. You can do it manually like I do and also you can do it programmatically. When for example your production line has finished this or other recorder. And the last recorder, start production. And mark the last production finished. Now our, we don't have recorders that are ready and we don't have recorders in progress. Now, for example, for this table that contains products, we use script that will change price some of the objects. Primarily we create some text named price and we create now we create script that will change the price of mango juice product. Let's do it. Primarily we create some field that will let us change price value. And bind to the text price. And now let's create script. We create script text and use function uh, do write model field and change values here we place name of our Android IP here name of our model Here filter name, for example, we use id equal for mango juice, and here we replace forget it. Should place we should place name name of the field list price list. And here number of row zero and value value bind to the text price. Let's compile this script and let's try to use one can use price is now fourteen and we can change for example. 15. And let's update. Yes, the price has changed. The price has changed it's in our product model also. Yes, Mango Juice 15 sales price. That's all. If you've got any questions, please write them in our form or by email. Thanks for watching.